Yesterday, my friends, Lassie began down the dark path, or well, depending on your perspective, uh, a, a really nice and good path, I guess, from her own perspective, of Labradorinthian, our new religion, our new Aegean religion, featuring everybody's favorite things, such as ritual suicide and ritual cannibalism, and also ritual human sacrifice. But my friends, where is she going to do such things? If only she had some great underground vast network of tunnels and mazes in order to sacrifice people and, and eat people in the privacy of her own home or giant underground maze filled with tunnels and etc. Well, let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens. What do the people think of our new religion? Uh, the people, you know, they're taking a little bit a little bit of time to convert them over there. I can't imagine the literature for our religion is, is, is particularly good. Hey, you, do you like eating your neighbor? And sacrificing your neighbor and, <laughs> and sacrificing yourself. I, d I don't think we're going to get too many converts to this one, I'm afraid. We're doing a pretty good job, though, huh? To say that it's only been restored like all of 30 seconds, it's not doing too badly here. And we will we will sweep through this realm, bringing about suicide and, and, and tasty snacks to the realm. <clears throat> so we better go see what all these uh, all these decisions are, because uh, they seem to have... Uh, so we've got Strength of Bloodline, just do many crowns, found a new empire, plan a, plan a great labyrinth, invite charities. Sorry, what? Plan a great labyrinth, you say? I can't believe no one in the comments section for the multiple episodes that we've done of this series have pointed out the fact that there is a button to plan a great labyrinth. How did nobody notice that, huh? Unbelievable. I thought I could rely on the comment section. Such a vast undertaking will require time and careful planning along with huge tracts of land. The peasantry and local landholders will have to compromise with our ambitions. Holding of Knossos gains minus three building slots. Wowee, that's expensive. Your level of fame is exalted amongst men. Absolutely we are. Men, women, and even the children. Your level of devotion, paragon of virtue. You are an independent ruler and we have bustling metropolis and imperial palace. We don't have either of those friggin' things. Actually, no, we have the imperial palace as far as I recall. Um, what have we got here? Uh, let's take, let's take a look. Imperial Palace. Oh! There's an upgrade. What? What? Oh, we can't, we can't look at that. That, that's, that secret's lost to time. Uh, so bustling metropolis, that city center, and then into bustling metropolis. We must have economic for innovation. Look, I think it's probably fairly tough to plan out a great labyrinth. So I think we probably need would would, would need a bit a little bit of economic innovation, huh? You don't just you don't just rip up a few stones, dig a hole, and then say there it is, there's your labyrinth. This is this is world defining. This is world changing. Let's start work on the city. That's gonna that's probably gonna take a decade. You know, upgrading a, a whole city that's that's a lifetime of work. Or maybe it's two years on a Tuesday. So that'll be uh, that'll be a nice thing to look forward to there. <laughs> and then who knows what will happen after that. Who knows what she'll decide to do when we... Oh, dear. When we uh, build ourselves a labyrinth. My God, she looks so dead in the eyes there. Are you okay? I have ridden, taken aim, and struck so many times I thought nothing could have set my rhythm. As I take yet another gallop down the practice range, a commotion I cannot fully see makes my horse rear up. For an instant, momentum keeps me pinned on the back of the horse as it starts shaking. Then, as if time is flowing slowly, I can feel myself becoming dislodged. Yes, I wonder what might have changed. Uh, with you riding a horse that may have made the horse spook and maybe a lot less unstable on its feet. I wonder what could have potentially... I wonder what... <clears throat> something to do with revelry, I would assume. Martial prowess challenge. 98% chance she stays on board. If anybody's good at riding, I feel myself being thrown left and right, but no motion can make me loosen my grasp on the reins of the saddle. This poor fucking horse. <laughs> <laughs> Bear in mind the, the the concept behind her is she does just keep growing stronger, and by extent because of a, a, a hilarious bug in base game CK3, she does grow significantly rounder as well. Uh, but 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 based on you know the kind of immortality thing, she is getting more muscular and more dense as time goes by. This poor fucking horse, it's it's just crawling along right now with her on its back. Such a forceful beast. How dare you? Uh, gain experience rider for ten years. Gives our chariots and our chariots some bonuses. I do love giving my chariots bonuses. What I was thinking as well is we can actually hire um, mans and ladies to, speaking of charities, to put on our on our army now. I believe we can actually start setting up commanders because we actually have a, oh, there you go. Look at this. We actually have a gender law. So we've got Lassie, head charioteer, 65 prowess, followed by Toto, Schnauzer, Collie, Lady, Babe, <laughs> and then hiking you and us of Karit. Uh, we've got Aphidor. There she is, our youngest daughter, only 85 years of age with 43 prowess. A grandson, Nereus. He's one of the, um, 
one of the, uh, y you know, the, the, the maybe uh, stunted, shall we say, dynasty members. That's why the tree started to become a bit of a bush. Uh, Capanius, he's another one. Yeah, he's, uh, well, literally stunted in that regard. Leontius, who's quite the opposite. How the fuck does this even happen? <laughs> I don't know that if that's how genetics work. There's this kid who's, who's I say kid, he's 55. Uh, one's a dwarf, one's a giant. And they are brothers. There is 20 years between them. Who knows? Who knows what sort of uh, chromosomal fuckery can happen over the course of 20 years? My God, how many kids did they end up having? They never stopped. Look. <laughs> We've got Scaly Child, which is, um, oh, oh dear. Um, what happened to you? You're also Scaly? Wow, these two have really, really just done a number on our gene pool, huh? We need, we need to chlorinate that. If only we had a big series of tunnels and mazes beneath our capital where we could potentially inter um, some of the more polluting substances of our gene pool. Prince Babe of Karit. We're going to discuss methods of communication. I don't know why I bothered hiring new charities because let's be reasonable here. No one's going to be able to... I mean, asbestos here, uh, which is definitely what that name says in hindsight. <laughs> My man asbestos, he's not going to hold a, hold a flame. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Well, he's fireproof. Shouldn't, he's not going to hold a flame to to any of these other characters that we've got going on right now, huh? Ah, our city center. That's all it takes. You just blink and it's finished. Right, what, what do we need then? We want to go for economic four innovation. Okay, economic four, economic four. Um, what do we need for that? Economic... Oh, my God. Early Iron Age. Early Iron Age. That's going to take years. Actually, how long is it going to take to get to? Uh... Uh, another 65 years before I can build my my great labyrinth. Oh, that's unbelievable. Who'd have thought such a thing would happen? Uh, <clears throat> hang on a minute. Did I, did I say city level 4? Because I clearly meant city level 3. Because it's working now, strangely. Uh, let's do it. Let's plan the great labyrinth. So we do lose 3 building slots here because, uh, you know, we're building an entire labyrinth, so you have to downsize a little bit. Our city's already overcrowded. We're doing a service for the people. Begin the found. Good God, that's expensive. Begin the foundations. In exchange for a hearty sum of gold, you encourage the scribes, masons, and blacksmiths of the realm to leave their home and livelihoods to clear room for the great undertaking ahead. Beneath the palace at Knossos, you begin the long process of laying the foundations for a great labyrinth, serving as both a warning to your enemies and an enforcement of loyalty among your vassals and peasantry alike. Now my great construction can begin, my friends. That was but the first brick of a very large bricky-based project, I would assume. I'm not an expert. Uh, oh, God, my buildings. Oh, now we've only got Smithy 1, City Wars 1, Tolling Station 2, Smeltworks 4, Workshops 4, Shipwrights, and Imperial Palace. The city's practically friggin' deserted. And the worst part is I can just buy fresh ones immediately because of that mob that we have. But look. The upgrade. It's, it's available now. The Labyrinthine Palace. Below this palace is a staggering array of tunnels and networks, meticulously designed as a monument to the ruler's hubris or as a cruel and unusual punishment for whoever finds themselves interred. It gives it fort level, because it's a big fuck-off labyrinth, a bigger garrison size, because we're going to fill it with werewolves. Uh, it gives us defending advantage. It makes raiders take longer to burn my shit down, and it has the regular palace's bonuses too, because I thought it'd be a bit weird if it took those away. I mean, I'm sure the mod makers thought it'd be weird if it took those away. $2,625 reduced, and it's going to take a whopping three years. <laughs> Seriously? CK3, not that I would know, because, uh, you know, uh, but CK, CK3 doesn't actually have, like, in, in CK2, you would set the amount of days a building would take to build. The problem with that, of course, is that if you had, like, massive build time modifiers, so if you managed to get it down to the one-day modifier, you could build everything, no matter whether it was a massive fuck-off pyramid or a tiny little port, you could do that in a day. Um, CK3, it has, like, long construction time, short construction time, uh... So even building the mighty labyrinthine palace is only going to take three years. Uh, all right. Wowee. I wonder what that will have for us after we've after we've finished with it. In the meantime, we can do all our regular crap, like commission another yearly epic, make our money from our uh, our 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 yearly book that we're producing here. Six hundred gold. Six hundred gold. A a a crafiest. Six hundred gold. I expect something under the table for that, brother. Go on a pilgrimage. Absolutely. Uh, we could go to... I mean, arguably, Knossos is the most important holy site. It's basically the only real holy site for the Labrador-Inthian religion. Uh, absolutely. 
Absolutely, go take a stroll in the garden. And we do have an, another Dennis DLXC too. Um, I I always go down this one. I always want to. I, I kind of want to not do it because uh, you know, because it does kind of get a bit stale. But everything else is just pretty, pretty shit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else holds a candle to it. I feel like they should just take this and make it a completely separate system that maybe upgrades along with along with picking the other ones. So say you pick two of those, this one unlocks automatically. You pick another two, this one unlocks automatically to get you to vary things. Because I, every person I speak to about this also says, yeah, why would you not go for Noble Veins, Convergent Blood, maybe Bounteous Lines. Okay, fine, you get, you get the 10% fertility from that one. Maybe Vibrant Court. But this one is still just unbeatable. Uh, so on the subject of that, or we could pick two for that price. Hang on, hang on. We could go 20% Dread and five. No, we could go, ah, oh, House of Warriors is appropriate. So I'm gonna do that one for the story element. Same with Ominous Reputation. Get out of here, Convergent Blood. Even though that also makes perfect sense. And then we've got Consolamentum as well. We can, we can off ourselves um, if the Labyrinth isn't built in time and we decide that it is time for her to uh, to go on a permanent pilgrimage. Because we have uh, Arm Pilgrimage and Medicant Preachers, we've got Determined Pilgrim giving 2% piety per hero, which is uh, a bloody lot, to be honest with you. 23. Um, 2%? There's some numbers there. There's some maths that you guys can do if you really feel like it. And then we've got Poverty's Journey. Holy Order High cost minus 33%. We don't actually have any Holy Orders right now. Can we establish some? Um... Let's go to the decisions tab a second, see if we can found ourselves. I mean, we do technically have a holy order, and that is our our army. Bear in mind, it's led by just a bunch of filthy dog creatures. Um, host Graham Wright, which I assume is on. Yeah, that's notified. That's notified. That's notified. Host a feast. Sod it. Sod it. She's just becoming more and more rotund, whether or not she's trying to lose weight or not. So I'm just going to hit the stop losing weight button. I assume that's still bugged. I thought they fixed it in the last one. Um, strength and bloodline and didn't do many crowns. We should definitely go for those. As soon as possible. Um, maybe that's what we should do. Maybe that's what we should do. Rather than... Because the, the sea people, as far as I know, weren't like empire builders. They were empire smashers. So how about instead of... You know, just conquesting everything. Map painting. Taking Crete and turning this into Crete. And this into Crete. And this into Crete. What if we, as a kingdom level title only... Conquer a kingdom, make the kingdom level title and grant it to someone, thus giving them independence and giving them a separate realm. If they're one of our immortal werewolf characters, oh my god. <laughs> they actually founded the Empire of Kemet. Hello. Oh, it's House Kenthap Horus again. We were allied to you guys. Obviously, we're not much longer or any more at all. Wow, they actually pulled it off. Shit, I don't think I've seen that before. Empire of Kemet, look at that. Holy shit, they're missing a little bit of Dejour land there towards the south. Um, they're, missing, they're missing that, uh, that dank kush there. In, uh, in the south of Kemet, but that's quite cool. And they're upper Kemetic too. That means they came from here, obviously, and, and went up the Nile and conquested across. Damn. I wonder what they can do now. I still want to do a, an Egypt playthrough at some stage. I think that'd be quite fun. And for the fifth time in a row, we are going to claim that this may be the greatest poem ever written. The people flock to bookstores across the nation to spend their hard-earned dollar dues on some more mighty fine... Oh my god, look at the development growth. Sweet Jesus. Okay. Um, King Leontius' urban taxes to increase. Um, we reduce his urban tax for taking up front cash lump sum. Or we say no deal. You find no deal here, Leontius. No, I'll take your... You get the city-state of... Oh, so, hang on. No, no, sorry. I misread that. He reduces uh, his urban tax, but we gain a city-state. Um, do we want that? I mean, we've got the domain size for it. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, thank you. Free stuff, huh? Uh, it also came with a free temple holding. Wow. We've got plenty of things to do here. Let's have our grand right. I've only ever done this once before, so we'll see what we've got here. As my fellow witches arrive in Canossus, I catch a glimpse of an unfamiliar face. When I go to greet my husband, hiking human, I'll see a strange man, Aegelius. They are uh, old acquaintances, it turns out, and you and us ask Aegelius may join our right. The more the merrier. You may be a guest of honor, uh, which upsets you and us. Um, Grand Rite is a private affair. The more the merrier. Yeah, sure. Welcome aboard. Is he a- he's a witch too. Oh, cool. So he's not just like turning up for the- for the shits and giggles. He's not like a goddamn journalist or something. As the moon rides in the heavens, heralding her arrival, I feel my body responding to the strange energies in the air. Do we want to read from the Grimoire? We did that last time. We don't want these parties to get stale, huh? We're gonna do some fucking Punch and Judy style shadow puppets. Let's do it. The blessings of death are many, and among them- <laughs> Yeah, when I see Punch and Judy, I agree. 
Knowing when to apply a little trickery, with the help of some mirrors, horns, and willing assistance, I put on a spectacular sh show. How old are you people? Uh, for, I mean, he's 40, but he's 92. Ask uh, Colin to instruct me in the art of charm. What I meant by that is, how the fuck are they impressed by shadow puppets? Where is my morsel? I crave his touch. Is that what you refer to your husband as? That's a bit fucked. That's a bit fucked. Um, and they're impressed by that. What the hell are we going to do for them? Oh, dear. Um, spend some time with the perceptive Agelius. Sure, let's get to know him a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, we, we gained along well. We, we became friends with our with our husband's friend. Very good. Or not. We're friends with him. He, our husband, I assume, is ter terribly jealous, given that the other one was put on a public show for them. Uh, your crown right ends. What a day. I still don't quite understand why we would do that. I guess it's just stress management. Um, it doesn't really have any bonuses as far as I can tell outside of that. Let's go on a hunt. This is the first hunt I think we've gone on where her and her husband haven't just, you know, ignored the hunt in favor of <clears throat> hunting each other. You gain 75 prestige and you lose 15 stress because we're athletic. Yep, I could have told you that by looking at her. We press on. Slay. We gain zero stress because we're compassionate. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Oh, the heart disappears into the farmlands and now the quarry is lost. We dismount to let the horses rest, whose ankles I assume are splintered. Lady nods her head in sympathy. We tried. We did not gain... We, we, our immortal prowess grew, but unfortunately, no no bonuses to our hunting there. And then finally, we'll have a feast. Oh! Labyr Labyrinthine palace constructed in Knossos. Well, that was perfect time, and I couldn't have done that any better myself. Holy shit, there it is, my friends. The Labyrinthine palace. Wow. What a, what a building for our realm. And we now have a new decision. Will only entail yourself in the Great Labyrinth for eternity as a timeless guardian of Knossos and allow your heir to rule in your absence. We have to be 80 and we have to be an independent ruler. Costs us 500 prestige and 750 piety, but we can we can we can chuck ourselves in there. If we're if, if we've seen everything life has to offer. She's 146. Let's say that when she hits 150 she becomes a guardian of the Labyrinth. What does that entail? Well, She'll still be around, uh, but you know she'll be she'll be devoted uh, to 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 the cause, to the religion, and she will be uh, only really able to take up arms. But she will be here with us in 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 physical form. You know, it's not like she's going to die and then we're just going to bury her in there and wall her up or anything like that. Oh my God, no! Oh well, firstly we got Cyclopean walls. No way! I know that you are Arch Priestess, a a a Athelia's real killer. If you wish for my silence, you will do as I say. You can't do this. She was about to retire, and he's about to ruin her whole career. We have to accept. He's going to blackmail us. We have to accept. Oh, my God. But he can still expose that secret, don't forget. I think we need to take drastic measures here. I think we need to take drastic measures. We can't allow her reputation to be sullied right towards the end of her... Her, her grand... Nobody's found out about that. Nobody found out about the fact that she was the uh, she was a murderer, and, it, and if, it, if if she's outed, the whole thing falls apart. You know, everybody knows that she's she's a fraud. Well, I mean, it wouldn't undo all the good work that she actually has done. Fuck Firius. Who's, oh, I, I don't care about that. That's great. As long as they're not a member of my dynasty, I really don't care too much. Um, oh dear, my son Schnauzer's had an affair with his lover. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> okay. Um. Have we no more important matters to tend to? She gains the trait Fornicator. But he doesn't. Well, isn't that some bullshit? That son of a bitch, he forced his way onto the council. All the more reason to do him in before we uh, b b before we disappear. Maybe we could drag him into the labyrinth with us. Oh, that's good. I like that. That would be a much better idea if we... Better when we have the option of human sacrifice. Um, Sure, yeah, whatever. That's great. Uh, instead... Can we, like, uh, abduct? Abduct him. Put him in the labyrinth. Teach him a lesson he won't forget. Oh, that is so much better. Uh, against High Priestess K Keto? Who? No, I don't care about you. I want to abduct this fucker. Hey, get out of here. Uh, stop this plot. And then abduct him. And then we put him in the labyrinth. And then we'll go in after him. And then we'll teach him a lesson for trying out our secret. 
Oh, we've got a much bigger secret you don't know of, my friend. Knowing how soldiers act around each other and noticing how freely information and rumor flows, I'm struck by an idea. If some of my own soldiers were to inf infiltrate King as Galatas' army, they might offer a different insight into his plans. We are going to, using our, our soldiers, our loyal retainers, our overseer and our strategist traits, get some soldiers in his court capable of, of bringing me information. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route out of his castle, should anything go wrong. A detailed map of local farmlands, as well as its hidden paths and caves, would be an invaluable resource. Explore the farmlands ourselves. We are only a novice hunter, um, and our horse is under great stress, so it, it's only a small only a small bonus in that regard. Our daughter is Pergonant, but I don't think we need to worry about that too much. He's not, he's not immortal after all, so they can't have... They can't have kids together. Found out? He found out? Oh my god, what? Ah, he's smarter than I thought. Far smarter than I thought. We may have a difficult... A difficult challenge on our hands here. Okay. Um, so he's over in Rhodes. Sorry, not Rhodes. Uh, East Crete. And we'll... <laughs> Thanks to the person who commented who pointed out that there has never been Rhodes. There has only ever been East Crete. What the hell is this? We're supposed to be the sea people, not the goddamn land boy. Land land people. What is this? <sighs> if there was any more reason to kill this man. If I needed any more reason to kill this man. Right, help me. Hostile scheme power. Lady, I, I need your expertise here, because I am royally fucking this up. 30% success chance. I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing. Closing on my quarry. King as as Geltas' daughter. Amelthia is an austere woman. I find myself in a company at first wary. However, I soon realize she is not adverse to my company as I, th as I first thought. First, firstly, please, firstly, my friend, tell me about yourself. Oh! Uh! Petty King Catris, my agent, has been discovered. Now the king has arrested him. Oh my god. Imprisoned. Oh my god. A feast at home because we are a legendary reveler. That's that's always very good. Thank you. And we're becoming closer to forming friends with this nice lady right here. Oh my god. What a five percent chance now. This man is uh is is a mighty, a mighty rival, worthy of the final The risk is too great, I think. The risk is too great. We need to we need to stop this. And I think we need to uh, I think we need to go back to the drawing board. The hunt. Are we this time actually going to get any more skilled? Nope. I blame the fact that we're a crap hunter and that uh, and that map event on not actually grabbing this guy. Okay, okay. Who's in his court that we could potentially win over then? Uh, his, his spy master. Let's find his spy master. Courtier. Court, uh, how do how do I find? Uh, are you like spy master too? How do I find his council? God, I wish. Guest guest courtier. Obviously in CK2 when he's through this, it'd be like, oh, it's his it's his spy master or whatever. Um, father. On the council. How do I know what you are, though? Um, located in. Vassal in my realm. Yeah, okay. Uh, it doesn't just say, like, spy master to... I mean, that's gotta be a spy master, right? He's on the... We know he's on the council because of the opinion modifier. But that's about it. Is that, like, spy, spy master? No? I'm gonna assume it's this guy. And you know what? He's high martial anyway. Uh, sorry, high, high intrigue anyway. So we're gonna start working on you next. That's also his son. So this could, uh, this, this could really help out. Give him 300 gold. 300 friggin' gold. It's quite nice as well, I should point out, that even though we've got all those crazy perks, even though we've got all these crazy stats, even now we're struggling with just, uh, just an abdication. That's quite nice. You know, it means that she's not just this disgustingly overpowered god character. I mean, she is in some regards, especially in the, uh, diplomacy, but there's only so far we can take diplomacy. You know, we can win over everybody in this court, then abduct him, play to our strengths, but it, it means that we can't just, you know, we, we, we can't just click a button and win. I quite like that. It's good, it's good balancing. Okay, so did we, did we actually succeed with that? I clicked through it, just assuming we, we had. Um, yes, we have. Okay, good. Um... Okay, okay, okay. What about your daughter? What about your daughter, who already likes us and we already started becoming friends with? Oh! Utu Hengal's Rebellion. Uh... Military Engineer. Unyielding Defender. Or Reckless. Um, I think Military Engineer. She has obviously got to have some engineering prowess for the bloody labyrinth that we've constructed. Um... There can no longer be any doubt. Toto, my own son, wants to be more than family. 
Is there no end to the depravity of that Delilah? Stop this madness, I am your mother. The world will know of your grotesque perversions, or, well, what is life without some indulgences? I mean, fuck it. She's going in the labyrinth as soon as we manage to drag the other guy in with us, so we might as well, we might as well see where this, where this ends up. A new heir. Potentially. Ah. It feels so right. I did not even take note of it at first, but as we sit in front of the fireplace, my son Toto clasps my hand with intensity far beyond the assurances of his son. I can feel her pulse quicken with desire. You mean me? I think. I refuse to believe what I feel is wrong. Oh no. <laughs> as I wander in the gardens in quiet contemplation, my mind in some far off place, I must run straight into Toto. Before I can collect myself, he asks for my forgiveness, saying that he never meant to inconvenience a lady of such noble morals. Slightly ignorant, but mostly sweet. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, this is this is premium CK2. This is premium CK, CK3. Wherever I go, my son Toto is sure to follow. That look in his eyes, the words on his lips, I know exactly what he's after. You lay with Toto Lucanthropos. We are lustful. We are lustful. Do it. I'm so sorry. As, as my sensible son Soto smiles humbly and tears the dress off me, I melt into his arms. He puts his hands around my waist, his mouth on my neck, his aching desire against my own. The love we share cannot be wrong. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oof. Owie. That, that hurts me right in my, right in my everything. <gasps> <laughs> I have agonized over it and the signs are clear. I am with child. It is no cause for joy as I have no doubt that it is my son Toto who is the real father. Rather than my husband, you and us. I must confess my infidelity. Or no one must ever know. No one must ever know. Is the child you bear truly mine? My husband asks. It's been... It's been 98 years since I felt your touch. Ah, uh, I know that my devotion has been as a man to a pollen before anything else. I narrow my eyes in consideration. Of course it's yours, you and us. It's just magic. Oh, God. My husband hiking you and us has exposed my relationship with Toto to the world. As they point their fingers and shout their slurs, I feel no shame. I only like to keep my son safe. What I do feel, however, is fear. What will happen to us now? That is... Your sinful acts come at a cost. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Oh no, what have we done? Right at the end, she, she lost her goddamn mind. Though conceived outside the bonds of marriage, my newborn daughter has made it safely into this world. She is born into the house of Lucanthropos, and that is how she will be raised. Midia, consecrated blood, wild oat, pure-blooded, fecund, beautiful, and genius. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Shit. She inherited all the traits we have. She inherited all the traits we have. Midia. Of Karit. What have we done? What the hell have we done? I'm. You know I've got to call a. You know I've got to call a like pug. Something that has been bred to, uh, too narrowly. The bloodline is too thin. Little pug of Karit. <laughs> I can see the resemblance. To be honest with you, we are now going to get the. Trait schema. We're gonna go on the skullduggery focus because this guy just started trying to fabricate a hook on him too. Already been exposed. This guy is has his has his finger on the pulse. This guy has his finger on his pulse. On our on 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 our pulse. Much like our son, who also has his finger. My dear mother, in my work at the court of King Asgalatas, I have failed to find any of the secrets his priest might possess. However, we can spend 300 gold to uh to you know. Expedite a, a, a secret, perhaps. We do have 15 available perks. Unfortunately, none of them are spendable. Um, 12 in Marshall, which we can't do anything with because we get the Marshall perk unlocks from events. Um, like, for example, when we helped our horse back up, they gave us a perk unlock, but of course we can't spend it. Um, stewardship, same story. Learning, same story. But intrigue. 
intrigue we can continue down with. My lady, a boar. My son Toto gestures for me to join him in the chase. As soon as we are hidden in the farmlands, he turns around and tugs my dress over my head. Finally, some time alone, my sweetheart. Oh, Toto. You gain the trait hunter. Hell yeah, brother. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one meat we're hunting here, boys. We are finally at long last allowed to use the abduct scheme again. 85, 85. Let's, I, I will hire everybody. I will use hooks on everybody. I will do everything within my, my power to get this man into this friggin' labyrinth. Um, yeah, sure. I'm going to blackmail absolutely everybody for a hook here. I know that a lot of them are irrelevant. I know a lot of them are our family members, which is, um... Oh, man. I'm going to reveal it. Yeah, I'm going to reveal it because there may be more... Oh, why, why would we expose her secret? She's not the right... Oh, it's it's one of his vassals. Right. Well, you never know. It might have some knock-on effect that I haven't considered, but uh, wasn't massively relevant there. Okay, how are we looking on the plot front, then? Get any more agents? Uh, if we maybe befriend my good friend Leto here... You never know where we might where we might end up. Come on, come on, get him. I love the devotion to my faith. Good shit, good shit. Ah, oh, hook fabricated on Leto. Oh, you are done for now. Um, invite. You can be convinced. A bit of a bribe here. You can be convinced. A bit of a, a bit of a bribe and a hook. Just a hook. Just all right with the hook. Eight five eight. Oh man, is that as high as it gets? He must have some sort of hostile scheme defense that's giving him that. Um, oh, new temples established. That's quite good. Um. That's giving him that kind of buffer. But, my friends, 85% chance that we now get rid of King as Galatas. Oh. What a challenge. That genuinely took us about 10 years to get this guy. I'm so glad he didn't die before we could get him. That is a victory right there, my friends. Now, who are we going to set up as our new successor? In my opinion, there is a solid choice here. And that, my friends, is Pog. We give her learning education and make her like a like a like the, the the Messiah of our new religion, essentially. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually all, all right with that. Now we can vote Pog in, as far as I recall, because we, um, because she's our daughter. Where are you, little Pog? Oh, we can't. Why? Um, close family claimants and vassals. Is it because she's a? Is she a wild oat? Technically, she is also our granddaughter. I wonder if that's why. Close family is only d direct, so so children um, or brothers, sisters, that type of thing. Um, but because I, because she's our granddaughter, I don't believe we can actually elect her. Oh shit! Man, that sucks. Okay, so then tomorrow we will begin by discussing who should take over the realm from. The mighty lassie, ready for her to become a labyrinth guardian. Collie, Toto, Babe, all fantastic choices. You've got Babe, the mighty martial character. You've got Collie, the mighty intrigue. You've got Schnauzer, who's average. <laughs> we will see where it will take us. And then tomorrow, Lassie takes on destiny and drags that fucking king kicking and screaming down with her thank you all for watching an especially deprived episode of crusader kings 3 apologize if this one is late again you know still waiting to get uh, get my fucking face fixed thank you to our executive producers for making this episode possible in the first place for the final month of coffee a big thank you to asra and the cat nikki sticks Hui Longdong. Aramis, Sonic Uberato, Ben Henshaw, Felpi, Anastara, Kekva, Ure, Juseda, Oramab, Dante Mordekane, Sir Thor the Swede, Cimac, Devorda, Scott L, The Monk, Christian Blue, and Dave Ash for their support at the executive producer tier on Coffee. A big thank you to all of those guys for making the channel possible. And a thank you as well to Magister Militant, Noobmeister, Gordy Number One, Rotten Flesh, Fernando Penner, Mohammed, Alvin Flang, Tabula Rasa, Warhawk, Ginta Blade, Cyber Monkey, Astros Fan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, The Thick Mick, Ultra Spider 2000, Snow Lagra, Sweet Team, Neil M, and Cattle as well for their support. See you all tomorrow for Degeneracy. <laughs>